Welcome to our virtual Christmas Eve service. We're so glad that you could attend with us, and we finally made it. What a year, what an advent. And here again, we are waiting again for Christ to be born anew in our hearts. For this service, you will need a candle for each member of your family. Also, don't forget that once again, our offering will go to Charity Water, as it has for the last five or six years on Christmas Eve. So when we meet together, because we worship together on that evening, and people in another land whom we have not met will have clean water uh, ongoing into the future. There's several ways that you can give to that. You can give through our church's Vimno, through um, online, or drop a check in the mail, or going directly to the Charity Water website, and our campaign is called Remix. Next Sunday is the last service of the year, and traditionally we observe that in new Christmas sweaters and in pajamas, but I, I'm guessing you already attend worship service in your pajamas. Uh, but you might bring donuts, as is our custom. Uh, we usually have donuts on that service, so I invite you to go to Donut World on Saturday or Sunday morning, uh, masked up, and have your own donuts there while Carrie Bauman leads us in that worship service. Next week, the church office will be open from 9 to 11 on Monday uh, through Thursday so that you could drop by an offering. If the office is closed, there is a mailbox out in front that you could drop that. And again, Vimno and online are available. And you can give both to Charity Water and also to our budget as we close out the church year. If you need a book for the Mostly Men's Occasional Book Club, our new book is Mama's Last Hug, Animal Behavior and What It Says About our own emotional state. Uh, it's a great book, and I hope that you can you can pick one up, or you can let me know, and I'll be happy to make sure you get one. This year, I'm grateful for so many things. I'm grateful for an amazing church who knows how to love God and love people and how to follow actively. I'm grateful for my staff, colleagues, James and Lynn and Carrie and Mike, who so capably led us through this Advent season and continue to lead us. We are truly blessed to have this kind of team with us. Now let us worship the God that comes anew into our hearts and makes all things new. Thank you. 